We will roll into our meeting. Okay. All right. Pledge of Allegiance, yes. Do you need no? Okay. Yeah. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Our cozy little group tonight. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Very exciting. So we are recording this. Put it on YouTube. One can watch it again and again. Um, okay, we are going to approve the agenda first. So um, once we approve it, there'll be no changes or deletions going forward. And is there a motion to approve the agenda? Motion. Okay. Is there a second? Second. All right, second. Okay, motion. Um, agenda stands approved and no deletions or additions going forward. All right, approval of minutes. Very. Uh, the minutes for January 17th uh, meetings, the minutes are uh, uploaded to the site on PT board on their documents. And if there's not, there's no connection, may I have the approval of the minute? Motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Thank you. Okay. Minutes approved as a stand. All right. The Academies of Loudon report with Mr. Lewis. Sure. Uh, so I'm um, Craig Lewis, I'm the director of AT. Um, I'm filling in for about three weeks. We're, we're now trying to rotate so that all the matters, uh, all the directors and assistant can come to them. So that's um, why I'm here now. So, kind of some things that happened since last meeting. Uh, currently, it's February, and we're in CTE month here at the academies, uh, which is great. Um, so, we um, had, had some competition happen. We had a Skills USA competition happen earlier in January or early February. Um, our graphic design, graphic communication, graphic design students uh, did really well there. They had a couple of uh, awards. Um, and uh, so, welding did multiple first place. So, uh, we were really proud of that. We had our outstanding students of the second quarter um, presentations at the end of the month. January, so we got to recognize a really cool opportunity to recognize uh, our students for um, the things that they uh, do in, in the school, whether it's their uh, leadership abilities, maybe they, they, their support they're giving other students, could be academic, could be their character, but we like to recognize them and, and give them the, the support. Um, uh, a couple things coming up. Uh, last night we had a parent program that the council put on for uh, course uh, scheduling. And course selection, I should say, for the 2021 uh, year. So they did an information session on that last night. Um, we had a couple of things. They, our entrepreneurs in AUT had their um, minimum viable product presentations. They, they put on these 15-minute uh, professional presentations as part of a board of directors. Uh, some people in the county came and gave them critique things, and now they're going to go out and try and. They're asking for funding and pitch uh, the, their product to see if they could get that uh, going. Uh, the AOS is doing their super uh, science showcase right now where they're um, creating these demos uh, and doing uh, presentations on uh, K through eight SOL standards. And, and, and they sometimes will, I know in the past that they went out and they presented that uh, to some, uh, to, I guess, younger kids, like the elementary and maybe middle school uh, kids. But they're also, uh, everyone's knee deep in research right now in the AOS and the AT. Then RCEP is coming up. March, so um, the selections are being given to me right now, so uh, that's a big deal. Um, AT is going to have what's called an engineering days next week. Uh, we have about 15 to 16 different uh, organization companies, uh, presenters coming in for a little symposium. So the kids will be able to listen to different uh, companies throughout that. And actually, the, today I was working with the graphic communications, and they, they helped put a flyer to advertise for that. She brought it up here. Uh, but they did a great job doing that. Coming up, we have our uh, the Maker Space uh, Maker Showcase is coming up next month in March. The registration to uh, get into that is, ends this Friday. Uh, we have, that's for the whole county, uh, but I was told about 50% of the participants are academy students, so that's always a, a good highlight. It's a good highlight for our kids to show off the projects they're doing. We get a lot of visitors come through our school and do tours, and they get to see into the classrooms, then actually get to see the projects the kids are doing. So this is a really good showcase, I think, for our kids, as well as everyone else in the community, to see what, what the kids are actually doing in the class and see the products and, and, and talk to the kids about it. 
So that's coming up, um, it's not until March 26th, but the registration for it's coming up. And then at the end of the, the month here, um, we have digital learning days that our librarian, our makerspace facilitator are putting on that they have to do different um, activities throughout the day for the kids and for the teachers to come in and uh, do different digital learning activities, whether it's little robots, whether it's uh, uh, you know, computer-based, uh, could be could all a plethora of stuff. So they're doing a great job putting that stuff out there. Uh, so, and tomorrow for the faculty, we have our February um, our dip day, Valentine's Dips Day. Everyone is taking dips and coming in and having a little uh, fun little Valentine's Day thing. So, um, got a lot of stuff going on. It's a very, very busy time of the year for everyone. Um, so, uh, it's crunch time to get a lot of things done. So, thank you. Okay, excellent. Any questions? Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll get the video off of you. Okay, so next, what we are going to do is we had sent out a note about doing an amendment to our budget because we have money that we want to move over to the club funding that we have been trying to give away money. And um, so what we need to do is we're going to want to move $2,350 from our, um, into the club funding line. So 900 of that came from PTA training that we had in the line. A um, 1,000 of it was moving out of the fall festival line. So make sure Pi Day, use your money. Because <laughs> um, we're, yeah, yeah. we're well, definitely, okay. we, that's why I told you we need money now. Yeah, you need money, okay. Yeah. Um, and then 450 <laughs> is moving out of the Odyssey of the Mind because um, that group did not happen this year. So. Um, is there a motion to move forward with this vote? Um, yes. Can I make a different motion? Okay, what's your different? <laughs> Let me get my Robert's <laughs> rules out. Yes. Just in case the the Pi Day events go a little bit over, mm -hmm. um, could we, if we move it over, could we allow a certain portion maybe to be reallocated to um, Pi Day? Mm -hmm. How much um, over are you thinking? Not sure yet. We're hoping we yes. we spoke. I know we're not. It's not our turn to be on. No, that's um, right. Right. But. We spoke with um, the manager at Harris Teeter, mm -hmm. and she said if we can get something in writing on official letterhead, that they might actually be able to make a donation to help the cost of some of the. Oh yeah, we have that. Yeah, I already have that letter. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So great. Um, uh -huh. So hopefully with that we okay. don't need any more funding. But if so, well, then we can ask for yes, funding to, yeah. to get just like like I don't know how much. Well, we can, so here's the deal. So as a board, we can move over $299 okay. ourselves, um, but we need a vote for 300 or more okay. for the I membership. Okay, I think 300 would be fully enough. Maybe. Okay. If we don't well, we can, but if not, it's okay. You're in March, so if we needed to, it, we can probably make, we can make it happen. Well, I think so that we have yeah. other buckets we can Yes, we have other buckets. Okay. okay. All right. I'm trying to see if it's about 2000 yeah, last year they didn't spend much at all for Friday, so we're going to make it happen, have yeah. fun. Make it happen. So, okay, so back to our first, yeah. or back to our first motion. So, we're, is it okay? Motion, I'm motioning to say yes. yes. Oh, okay, your motion. Okay, is there a second? Okay, second. Okay, so what we're going to do is just vote now with a show of hands. Um, who is, says yes to moving $2,350 over to our club funding line item? Okay, we've got a bunch of, yeah, everybody's members voting. Okay, we got that. All right, it's a majority, so any nays? Any no? Okay, good. All right, so with a majority, the vote passes to move the $2,350 into the club funding line item. All right, good job now. Yeah. Um, yes, our treasurer is very happy. Okay, thank you. That makes things very easy. Okay, um, so moving into um, chairperson reports. So Sadaf is not here. There wasn't a meeting to report on. Hers is next week. So I believe there was a combination or something. There was a combination yeah. and yeah. somehow the schedule, I, I don't know. Yeah, I that's fine. She wrote me a note, too. so yeah. she's, she'll be, she can report next month. So Sarah's here to report on CF. Yeah. Um, just so you know, I think I said this to the other meeting I came to, but everybody's invited to all the meetings. You don't have to you know, be a member or anything. Anybody can go. And they also, this month, started live streaming them. So if you don't feel like going to the administration building, you can just get on the SEAC website and just, it has a little link for live web stream and it's super easy. I did it this way um, this month and it was very nice to sit in your own house 
and watch the whole meeting. Um, so this month they were talking about inclusion and um, they, the point was that students with disabilities should be included as valued members of the school community. Um, so three, way, three things they talked about with that were that students should be accepted, they should be able to actively participate in school activities, and they should be provided the supports that give them the opportunity to succeed. Um, a big uh, portion of the talk was on students being educated in the least restrictive environment possible, so not being separated from other students for most of the day, but being in the general classroom as much as they possibly can be, um, doing the same work and activities as other students. Um, they talked about why inclusion is important. It's associated with higher academic skill development, promotes social skills and social competence, and promotes self-determination skills. And um, interestingly, one of the things that she talked about a lot, I kind of felt like applies to any student, um, and she was just talking about thinking about how children learn and trying to accommodate students in the way that they learn best. And the example she gave was if you have younger children and they're reading, some children don't like to read out loud. So maybe they're in a group with an audio book and some kids do like to read out loud. So maybe they're in a group where they take turns reading out loud and some kids maybe have some sensory issues and you know they just want to be by themselves and sit quietly and read the book and I thought that was really interesting because it's not even about students with disabilities it's just about taking into account differences in all students and how they learn. Okay so that's it. Okay excellent. Well it was much longer. She talked okay. for a long time. No no that no. Was, I mean hey yeah. it's been great with all your yeah, reports no, this year. We appreciate so. the Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Pi Day. Our Pi Day crew is here. Tina um, Ron, Dr. Linda Gans. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so the signs that you see established around here um, are graphics. We have one yes, we have a graphic teacher here, but Deb yeah, was wonderful. Deb Trip was wonderful, and she had her kids be so good. And the awesome. students were Madison, Tran, Tran Lubel, um, McAndrew, Brady, Stevenson, and Maxwell Reagan. And if you look on there, there's a um, like a QR, QR code. code. Yeah. And so the kids can scan that in, and that brings them to a Google form. And then Google based site. our Google site, and it tells them like all the activities that have been planned for the day, and then wow. they can log in and sign up. And um, so, so feel I, free to scan it and check it out. Yeah, yeah. And so no, I would definitely want to do that. Somehow this. maybe give a copy on the to Pramila to send on the web to the, yeah. to the PTSA yeah. Facebook page, possibly. Um, and and I know announcements have been on. For the kids, but I know with the room, my kids never listen to the announcement. So, um, <laughs> and so I put what? Well, and today it was Mr. Lewis. Today it was Mr. Lewis um, doing the announcements, and I was like, shh, shh, kids. So I've really been talking it up, but we're gonna probably send the email out to the teachers and just have the teachers to really talk it up. Mm -hmm. That one didn't work. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> Are they on the TVs too? Has Andy put them up on the TV? The not yet, but they will. Or the the flyer. Oh not yet. no, not yet. Because we, we just, got, just them. got them. We oh, literally yeah. just got them. Okay. Made. So the request URL was not found on the server. Oh, so we'll have to work on that. Uh, you guys are. If you're not doing it, you're not doing it. Do they have to be on the LCPS? Are you on your LCPS account? Uh, I scanned them and they were working for me, so I don't know if there's something right. else going on. While she's doing that, uh, but some of the things, the activities that we had planned, um, it's a make your own Pi Day t-shirt, and um, so the kids get to be like really big bird poopers and pick and put like pie on their shirt, and like, you know, they, I mean, it's so they get to dress up a little bit. Um, then we have a Pi Day makerspace competition. It seems like the kids are kind of excited about where they make something. Um, and then it has to be done by Pi Day, and we're gonna get um, some 
students to do that one more. Okay. Um, we're also getting the kids, um, in the past, like one of the things the AOS kids did, which was really, they would try to recite as many numbers of pi as they could. So now we've incorporated that into Flipgrid videos. So then they, so they have to be like a little competition and be creative about pi day or they can recite the numbers or something like that. And then we're gonna try to have them running on the big board out there. Um, but we are gonna have some teachers, hopefully volunteers, check the videos to make sure they're appropriate first. <laughs> Not yeah, that our darling children would do anything like that, but um, you know. Um, we're having a Pi Day sticker contest where they design a uh, sticker. And um, did I miss anything? Um, and then we're, and then something, like we're, gonna, we're trying to get Tasty Cake like makes a bunch of different individual pies. And so Wegmans, I call Wegmans. Wegmans doesn't deal with Tasty Cake anymore because they have trouble getting them from their vendor. Um, Wegmans only carries um, Hostess cakes and Hostess only has cherry pie and apple pie. Um, but they did have them for a really good price. It was $2.99 for 12. Yeah. Um, well, but anyway, um, but Harris Teeter, um, Linda called them today, and I was kind of yelling things in the background, but they actually can deal with Tasty Cake, and Tasty Cake has like um, like cream, they, they do, they have Boston cream, they have all these different kinds of pie. So the lady from um, Harris Teeter was gonna try to call their vendor to see if we could get a bunch of different pies, and then we thought maybe apples, because they're easy for the kids to grab, and I was thinking, juice boxes for Capri Sun and so I thought maybe because then she mentioned something about donation so I said well maybe we could get the drink donated and we know you have water left over too. We will have but water's yes very cheap. Okay. So so we thought that we could have that for them um in the morning and then we've already talked to we haven't talked to him lately the cafeteria guy and he said he would try because he offers pizza once a week anyway he said he would try to rearrange like the, like the two weeks so then we can have pizza on those two days so uh, for the kids for lunch for those days. Yeah. Um, so the, the thing that I guess we would need is like we talked to, we're still in communication with the uh, with the, um, manager. She's going to try to, come, she's working with the, their vendors to see if their vendors could give us yeah, a cost. reduced yeah. price. Um, or even if anybody would donate anything, and they said they might be able to donate, so we'll get a letter for so, that. So you and need this to get is the Teeter. This yeah. is right down the road, Harris Teeter. Yes, yeah, yeah. the Harris um, Teeter, the corner of Belmont and Sickleman. Yeah. Okay, so, Belmont and Sickleman. Yeah. yeah, so they just need um, a letter with a, a yeah. letterhead on yeah, it. Yeah, I've got it. It's, I've got it. It's all got our tax That's information what I figured. on it. Yeah. Um, and then the, the, I guess the thing that we would need help on from the PTSA would. Um, you said you could set up the get the tables and organize for the front of the room um, for all that stuff. Yeah, we'll just arrange that um, in the morning. Um, so we probably need like five volunteers. Five how many? Time. How many parents do you usually have there in the morning? Last time it was. A well, lot. you have your committee. So and this is where the vet too comes in. So we have. So what we do is arranging the tables is generally they'll they'll put them up that the night before, like Michael Cook. Okay. You know, so we can just tell him how many tables that we want in the lot. I mean, they've done it not twice yet, twice, three times for like Pi Day last year and then two fall festivals, so he, he knows what to set up. Um, and then with the, um, uh, the volunteers. Yeah, so you have your committee, but plus then we have, um, I can get you in touch with Mahima Pant, who's our volunteer coordinator, and then she has done this now a number of times, so she'll yeah. just basically copy and paste what, and you just tell her what you want. Yeah. And for the time frames, you know, so. The, um, so besides the morning, because I think it'll be important if we're like, we're making ta temporary tattoos and the sticker competition that the winner of the A day and the B day, our plan was to print stickers for the kids to have vinyl stickers that they could put on their stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but those stickers will be um, handed out along with temporary tattoos mm -hmm. and the food, but we would just need someone there to make sure that people aren't taking yeah. more than yeah. one. Yeah, the tattoos have become so, a little costly. We're trying to find cheaper uh, tattoos. Yeah, so right I think we were just going to look at it a couple more places. And I was going to see if you knew anywhere. So you don't. Okay. Um, well, and, I mean, that's what we've had. So the parents, like, usually know, like, oh, the kids get to take two things or, or whatever yeah. the case is. And obviously, we generally have with the leftovers with it. And some of it obviously can be used from A day to B day or B yeah. day to A day, whatever yes. that is. Yeah. So um, 
but yeah, no, that's that's not a problem with arranging that. And then now, were you gonna? The other thing is, are you gonna want to have people? Or are you gonna want to set up the night before? We could set up the night before. Yeah. That's easy. you could set up. I mean, that would make things a little bit easier than having people in here, like because with you guys, you know, if you wanted to, you could come in and say setup is. Because what time do you have to be in your classrooms? Nine. I'm nine to ten. Okay, oh, so yeah. that's up to you whether or not if you guys want to set up the night before. If there's not anything necessarily going on in the building that night, you probably could do it like after school and then you either put sheets over it or something. Um, I mean, it's you know pretty safe with that. You just need we just need to know what the schedule is for the school that night, um, and then or if you want to start early the next morning. So that's just how whatever your choice is with that. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably need robotics would be here. So the robotics kids are usually in the building. Okay. Like, I mean, as long, as long as you don't have like, you know, a county-wide, yeah. and then every, all of a sudden you come the next morning and everything's gone. Like, yeah. oh, they were so nice. They supply us with food. <laughs> I don't think it's too hard to set up even in the morning. Yeah. Um, and then we were thinking about having some parents, because we were thinking about running a scavenger hunt during lunch. Mm -hmm. um, Ms. Silver is going to set up a, are a scavenger hunt. Yeah. Um, okay. yeah. And the kids are going to be with, on teams. Yeah. And so we thought we could have like a few parents helping yeah. with that in the library with a scavenger fine. hunt. So, and uh, then maybe having some parents in the maker space during lunch. That's fine. Yeah, so Marina sends out out this, yeah. she sends out the sign of genius. If you give her the description. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll let her know. Well, it's through PT board. Yeah. Yeah. It's through, yeah. Do what? Because it's a, it's a big event. And you will have volunteers in the morning, in the afternoon, yeah. maybe before that, for planning yeah. sort of things and minor things and, and everything else. So just plan accordingly so that she can ask for different volunteers. Well, I can, I'll just email. Yeah. Can, I, well, I'll get, we'll, email. we'll introduce an email introduction. She, there's I some. Have, I've known Oh, you know Mahima. I okay. used to be her daughter's okay. girl scout leader for okay. like five years. She <laughs> has a PT, she has a PTA I know, email. I have it. You have it? Yeah, but get her email. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Just make sure she, because that's the one she wants to use okay, for it. Yep. So, um, yeah, no, she's she's great with it, and she knows what just what to set up. Okay, okay, and then the next question is, how do we pay for things? So, like for instance, um, if we order tattoos online, right? Yeah. Like, do you have to pay for that? Like, do yeah, we send I, you it, the link or the treasurer the link? No. Or? So, if you, what you want to do is, I'm more than happy to pay for it with my personal credit card, because then I get points. So, um, <laughs> um, I've done this for years. I spent, I'm sure them haven't been investigated yet because I've spent thousands of dollars and then the treasurer has written me thousands of dollars in checks. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's up to you because we will, if you wanted to pay for it yourself, we would be able to get you the check right away. We don't have a, a PTA credit card. Okay. So, um, you know, however you want to do it. If you wanted to do it, we, and you get, you know, then you send us the reimbursement form and the invoice, we would get you a check, you know, right away. Or I'm happy to, or as soon as we could. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you want to send it to me, I'm happy to put it on my personal credit card and okay. then I will just get reimbursed. Well, we didn't know if we arranged with the ARC Peter ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Like, could we get a check and just take it to them and pay it? Yeah. Okay. Because that's what, when we talked to them today, and when I talked to Wegmans, I said, I need to know about how much, I'm going to let the PTSA board know, so then we know how much we're talking about. Yeah. If they give, like, an estimated invoice, that's, yeah. probably, you know, that's probably what we can do. Yeah. Okay. Well, if, if it Once comes they down know to it, half of everything. They can call me and I can give them the credit card. I mean, my credit card. So it's really, you know, okay. whatever's, we're not going to, okay. you, know, you won't get stuck. Yeah, I know. I just want to make sure we use the right process, though. I don't want to... It's really... I mean, as teachers, we're trained to, that there's a process with spending money. So. Yeah, well, yeah, we give you your budget. budget. And like yeah. we said, it's easy for us to reimburse ourselves, so if it's easier for you okay. to send us the link, then that's fine. Whatever, okay. whatever is easy for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just, yeah, as long as you don't have to do the research. <laughs> yeah, just tell us yeah. what you want. You just tell okay. us what you want. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll hook you up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what about we had vaguely talked about the kids doing a video like that we could put on like Facebook? We, I was actually thinking about them today, and that's something that we kind of the SCA we, we talked to the SCA kids, um, but maybe we need to push them a little bit more. Yeah, I, I spoke with a group in the PTSA, and I've not heard anything over like two weeks ago, and I've I haven't heard, heard from anything. one student. Maybe we can get Eric to push me. Eric, a little. 
Yeah, on that because I, I think that. I mean, would I, be just great. To, I think I just have to. I think I just we just have to follow up. We but just need to push you just you want more. something to advertise it on. Yeah, or like they could just hold up even this flyer or yeah. something because video does really really well on social media okay. and even and we have even with um, Instagram, Instagram that it, you just need a minute or less was what the video they'll take on that. Um, otherwise, you know, this is just this is a great way for these kids and then people will share it. And so, I mean, people, but if you have the kids on there trying to explain, or even like if you have, I remember we talked about yeah, it. Like or even if you have a, a couple kids, you they explain one thing about Makerspace, and then you do another short video on, you know, it can be done rapid fire. Okay. Um, you know, if you need me to come in and help, we could do that. But yeah. it's I mean, just. She, she did talk to SEA and I've had one student. Yeah, and it doesn't need to be fancy, so you can do it on the iPhone, and then we just can send it and you upload it. Okay. Or you put it, or you drop it into the Google like we did and share it, and then we'll get it right up. It's okay. as easy as that. But I would highly suggest if we could get some video like that, yeah. do well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And then with this, do are these working now, or did we do we need to check again? You got they it to work. 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 And you have to, you can we only can sign try. on, you guys won't be able to sign on because it's, we made it so it's restricted to LCPS. Oh, okay. Oh. So I, I can't get, I can't have that going out and having people all over the world get on. So okay. if you don't have an LCPS oh, okay. thing, that's probably why it's not working for you. Okay. Um, so this is just for kids, so we're only getting submissions from kids and we know who's submitting. Okay. You know, so that we don't get some video. Well, being like, we Yikes, would, what's that? We would like to be able to have, you know, a JPEG or a, a well, PNG. Once, once, so what, what, what's going to happen with the videos is once the teacher panel, we have an email drafted that we're going to send out to staff or volunteers yeah. or Google Forum to sign up. Um, once we get a group of, of teachers that review them once they're in, so yeah. they're due March 6th, right. the videos. Um, right. Once they're in, we're going to group the teachers right. that have like right. four days. I she's talking I'm talking about the video them. explaining. Oh, and okay. now I'm, I switched gears again. Uh, uh, but no, so okay. yeah, so, so you, you, have this. you want this that, do you want this, this. Though, or that. Uh, like that we should be able to get, but probably not until next week. Well, because maybe that. We can just send us the, you just want the graphic, right? Yeah. Oh, the graphic, graphic I have. That yes. I can send you right now. Graphic. Yeah. Oh, because I'll, it's going to, just, would you send that email out to teachers? Uh, send it to her too. Or I can send it right now. But now. is that graphic on there that explains everything? It's yeah. a picture. It yeah. should be a JPEG or a the picture. Like, have they're, right? they're only emailing them. Oh, okay. I yeah. And then we could take a collage picture of the four of them because yeah. it'd be nice to put those yeah, up there yeah. too. But we would, what we do is like on, our, on PT board is we have a scrolling screen, you know, in here. So we would like to be able to put oh, that yeah. up here. I'm sending it to you right now. Great. I mean, we'll get it okay. to you. I, we'll I looked at the video, your email, but I didn't see it. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, you guys have done a fabulous job. There's no doubt on that. And I know with, you know, with doing some of these, these things, but if we can help in that way with promoting it, oh, yeah. we would love to be able to Because that's what the issue that. is now, is just trying to get the kids, like I was talking to my kids today, guys, let's do this. You're going to do this. Talk to your friends. But, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. I mean, we have 824 people that are on, you know, PT board, and we, we will send that out just as a flyer itself. And then we have... Um, you know, 400 and over 400. She's the 45. We have it over 400 on Facebook. And once these parents see that, that, and then we have like almost a little over 50 or close to 50 on Instagram. I have it written down here. So, you know, let us try and help you with that because then we will also ask um, Dr. Pretty to send out a Connect Ed. And, and you can also do it on Peach Jar. So let's just, we'll just push that and advertise, advertise, advertise. And Connect Ed would probably be better. I know, I can start well, I get done. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, you know what? We'll just do it. And if we do, and if people delete no, it, we'll send it out five different ways. Yeah. So hopefully yeah. they'll see yeah. something. Okay. Like right. So, so yeah. Good. yeah, if you, we just get us that, we can yeah. push it out okay. and, and do that. So, um, okay. So you're going to get in touch with Mahima. So you're going to do that. Um, we'll get with um, the vac we'll, we'll get with uh, Michael, you know, in terms of the, the tables. And then um, I will get you that letter for Harris Teeter, and then you can, and I can share it with you via Google Doc, and I mean, you okay. can adjust it if you need to, okay. um, but I will write it. I think they just probably needed the, I know, the all they really want is tax information. Yeah. Our letterhead. Yeah. I have it, it's, I have it already generically written. Pi Day, that's for Pi Day I have it, yeah, I have it generically written, so we'll be fine with okay. that. Um, and then we and will then get this if out. you can send me all of the flyers, so mm -hmm. I'll put it out. What is your, um, a C L P T G R P C O M M. Did it work? No. 
it should be in your inbox. Oh, okay. okay. It should be in your inbox. Okay. It might take one second, but yeah. Sure. No, we're, I mean, um, Promo's great with getting this word out is yeah. all yeah. over the place, so yeah. we will love. definitely get you taken care of. So, not a, not a problem. So, you should have kids out there with like poster board in the morning when they get off the bus. <laughs> something with like, hi guys. Or these things, or something, you know. Oh, no, these are amazing. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 So they're plastered around the school. I mean, we put them around the school. Yeah. And, um, it's just yeah, I think I walked kids. down the math hallway down there going to keep the children with their own. Yeah, yeah. So no. I the main hallway yeah. down there. But like you said, hit the teachers up with, you know, yeah. it'll yeah. be. So then the teachers can be talking up in their classroom. Right, and exactly. And if you've seen those, I meant to tell him, like with those videos that the academies have started now, you know, just the academy's There's Facebook page or the, um, was it CD or CTE week? Welding was the first one. Have you seen oh, that? Yeah. That Those was fabulous. And that does, and that's why I'm saying yeah. video will do well if we get that out there and that will. So do you watch it online? I need those stuff. Too. Andy does it. <laughs> yeah, Andy, she did it. Andy. I got it. I'm, I'm writing her down. So that's, Andy's the one who helped me create the yeah. entire website. Huh? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, Andy, yeah. she loves to do I mean, she's yeah, got Yeah, that's who helped me design the website. So maybe we're trying could... to think of a platform and how to communicate it, so. Yeah. Okay. But with the video and stuff like I mean, she's very creative with that. Yeah. So we show she's her. willing to help. Let's make it work. I'll try. I'll send her up here. I'll talk to her. So and I'll try to do some of these. Oh, you know what? We'll just do it. We'll do it the green screen. Throw some funny, funny like. Okay. Yeah. No, you guys have, uh, and then whatever you need, like you said, from us. Don't have. Yeah. We probably. I don't know if we'll be able to do it tomorrow, um, but next week we do. It's okay. Yeah. I think we're we're good enough. I mean, we've got a month. But you know, if you start to get that more and more, yeah, that, you know, so we just know what works in terms of sharing and how stuff will go viral. You'll be you'll be amazed at what we'll, we'll get. So, um, okay, moving. Um, anything else for our high day? No, we're good. You're good. Thank right, you. Good. Right, Thank good. you so much. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for all this, yes. um, okay, um, Vivek, staff appreciation. Yes, so staff appreciation for there's, there's a lunch for staff that is in the chair. Um, we, we, we have not, have you heard about any? any not yet. It's, not yet, it's right? supposedly it's going through the admin to figure out the day. Yes, yeah, so it's either March 25th or April 12th or somewhere around that that, mm -hmm. that, that we are staff lunch. That, PDSA will be sponsored. Uh, more details to, to come in the next week. But that's the plan right now. And then May she'll be planning too, so for the bigger week of mm -hmm. staff appreciation. So. Okay, uh, Jennifer, our nominations chair. Um, thank you for finding me. He's on your committee too. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> yeah. Yay! Um, so I've looked at some dates and counted back from. Um, so it looks like our elections will be on the 14th of May. Yeah. Um, so counting back, um, I'd like to get the memo out um, about May, March 5th. And then That's open applications. Um, we did a Google Doc last year, yeah. um, and that seemed to work. Yeah. Um, so around the 12th of March. So it would be open for two weeks, the 12th and the 27th. Um, okay. Uh, yes, because you have to 30 days beforehand in April is when you present the slate. Yes. Yes. Right. Okay. So okay. yes. Okay. Um, so working on that with my committee. Um, so I will email them all out there tonight. Yes. Um, and we can talk a little bit. I've started some stuff I can share with you. Um, and just sharing a lot of what we had from last year. Yeah. Um, but get the word out to your friends and family that may want to be on our board. I think we'll have several open positions um, next year. Um, some of our. So, yeah. No, that's great. I mean, yeah, we'll just, you can just reuse, because um, actually, Ferry's your, more or less your contact, because I'm theoretically, I'm not supposed to be on this as an odd hat on, on the committee. Um, and so, um, yeah, with a lot of the stuff that you have last year, I think it can just be reused. Yep. And um, and then we'll just get it out like we did. Um, so I think Dr. Pretty sent it out. Yeah. Yeah. I get your I need your email again to send it to you. Um, and I think it's up on PT board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you're not as many. Yeah. Too many people to do because I think last year um, we had 
one or maybe I think we had two for one position and everything else we had one. Um, but with people stepping down or graduating or whatever, yeah. we'll need some steps. Yeah, because yeah. all the positions are theoretically open. Uh -huh. Yeah, and so then it's just a matter of who you have to recruit more for yes. if you know some people are already looking to come back. So. Yes. But every position is different. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Um, if you can just get Ferry the dates, maybe copy me just so I can put some of that like on. Yes. Uh, just so we have that on the board. Yeah. Okay. And so we'll know. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Um, okay, any questions for Jennifer? I'm going to be president. Go see her. Okay. Um, okay, uh, membership. Lata is not here. Yeah. But um, we are at um, 377 individuals, 180 students, and 49 staff. So 606 total. Um, C2 is supplying bags to those who do not have them from when we ran out because we were so overwhelmed and surprised by our membership numbers, which has been great. But C2 is coming along and we will get those along with um, $10 zone cards to those families that have not received a bag yet. So we will get those out to those to those families. Um, that is what we have for membership. Um, Kamal is not here, but um, he is actually flying in. He flew in last night. He's been gone for like a month and a half to Europe. So um, I don't know. Did you guys try and reach out to Kamal at all? Yeah, you what? No, I know. Oh, I'm sorry. I was talking to Heidi. Hi, Heidi. No, um, we haven't talked to him. That's why we were asking the questions about money tonight. So. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't know if he had any contact with who was it? Tasty Cakes or Tasty? Who did you say? Tasty Cakes. Tasty Cakes. Little Debbie. Any of them? No, no. We haven't. Because he's in the food service business, so I just. I think he got the Manhattan Pizza. No, he did. He, he was our, yeah, I mean, we connected, but he's our business development guy. And so I just, because he's in the food service business, oh I just didn't know if he had a connection oh, okay. with. Do we have his email? Yeah. Yes. I have, it's, um, we have it. you have it, Kamal Gill? Yeah. Do we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if not, we have it. Um, yeah, I mean, and I will definitely, you know, we can give the letter, but definitely approach him. I mean, he's back in the States now. And he's been responsive even when he was in Europe, but um, let's utilize him as, yeah. uh, you know. I just know from the Tasty Cake, like you have to go through a vendor. Yeah, well like he owns his own. you can't order directly from Tasty Cake, so that's yeah. why we came up, because Harris Teeter is a distributor. So okay, okay, so. and maybe that's exactly what he will he will tell you, but maybe just drop him a line yep, okay. and just see if there's anything, just because he's in the business. He's got businesses where he's in the circle. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. so. That's why I just want to rope him in on that because he's been ho I was hoping a little bit more with some donations this year, um, you know, coming from that direction. So, but I'll definitely get you the letter just to cover our bases. Um, okay, Mahima, we've talked about her a number of times. She's working on some stuff because um, there's going to be a wellness fair here on April 2nd and 3rd from 1.30 to 3.15. And she's going to get a um, volunteer, the... Um, Michelle Trudell from the counseling department, and she there. I'm sorry, what? what dates were it's April 2nd and 3rd. It's on here. It's on 130 to 315, there's going to be a wellness fair here, so she's going to reach out for um, volunteers for that. So we um, we keep her busy in some of those things. Um, and then Srini um, with the used book sale and Spirit Night. Used book sale, uh, we had the last one on December 10th. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we just let's confirm with um, her on that, with uh, Katie on that. Just because last year we did that. I know she talked about March, but that's a good time when you're kind of hitting a large group of people. Yeah, I mean, I emailed her. She replied that she's planning to do it. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. And then Spirit Nights. Spirit Nights. Um, we are still waiting for the results from Papa John's and the Zoe event. Generator here. Um, we are planning the March Pizza February 18th, Ashcroft. Uh, we're still waiting on the confirmation from Percival. I don't think Percival was going to happen. Who did? I mean, we, we contacted them. Yes. Uh, Holly contacted them, but no reply yet. Yeah, I 
think did she say that um, she sent me an email to say that they, they would have it but they can't do it the same day on the same day okay yeah so so it could it's be possible that it, it will happen the following week and i said okay just ask them to send me a flyer for with the right dates and just that location so, so i can put it i've not heard from her after okay. that yeah it and must I, be franchise i mean because that's what we were talking about yeah, Monday, i think yeah yeah could be different franchise. Right. So she different did send me an email to say that it can't happen on the 18th with the Ashburn location, the same day as the Ashburn location, but they were working on having it a week later. Right, so I, I guess um, she's saying that she's waiting on the confirmation for the date. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all for the Okay, thank you very much on that. Anything else for any events that any we missed? I think we covered everything there. Okay, we'll move into elected officer reports. Um, I have, so I attend the Hunt District meeting, which is quarterly, and that's the Hunt District oversees all of the PTAs, and so we did um, get a certificate for being a powerful PTA. Just, um, yes, we did, uh, we had to fill out, like, a, it was a Google form, I had to fill out, we did seven of the 10 things. Yes, you think um, so, uh, so I went to that meeting, and um, the other thing that we have been approached to do is for the student makerspace event that's coming up on the 26th is Josh Ajima asked if we would do the hydration event again. So um, we decided that as a board, it's, uh, we already have the, um, uh, the drink dispensers to do it. And so, and frozen fruit is pretty inexpensive and water is pretty inexpensive. So um, if any, I thought we may have a bigger crowd, but if anybody wants to help with the setup of that, let me know. Because that's on the, um, that's the bigger part of that is just the setup with um, getting the tables and then getting the water and the infusers going. And then um, we'll be handing out water between those two hours. So that's, um, that's what we'll be doing there. And I've already contacted the National PTA and they're gonna donate more free water, I think, for us. So um, that's where, uh, and they're pretty excited. They're gonna, they're gonna tell Nestle that we're doing this again. So, you know, all this, um, I guess it was a popular thing. So they asked that we, we do it. Um, and that is all, and then also, I was in, in accordance with the nominations thing, I'm probably gonna try and have like an info meeting, maybe like on March 13th, I know is a morning meeting. Um, and I, I mean, I could do that, like at 9.30 in the morning, just answer questions if there are people who are interested in running for a position, um, or there's a potential I've thought of doing a virtual meeting also, um, where it could be me, myself, and I, but you know, if people do wanna chime in and get on and the hang, Google Hangout or something and just ask questions of what would be you know, expected, we will send out the, what each position is and I have that as part of yeah, our Yeah, you have that as part of too. It yeah. shouldn't change much. I mean, I can reread it if you want, but you can probably read it. Or, I mean, because if it's on like Google, then I probably have it shared with me still, so. I believe it's what you sent me last year. Yeah, it's probably so it. I'll, I can just read it over. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, okay, that's all I have. Anybody have any questions for me? Nope, okay, Vivek, was there anything else? Uh, that's, that's it from, from me, from the, from the event. Okay. Oh, we did. All right, Srini? Yes, I have one more. The state EACT practice fence uh, is sponsored by CQ Education. We're doing on February 29th. And we have about 38 SAT and 16 ACT. So totally we're expecting 80 or about students. And this is uh, one of the uh, like second biggest worldwide. And then there can be walk up too. People can walk up on the day, yeah, on the day yeah, for twenty five dollars. Ten person. Um, so did the the lady get up to about the the three students who were coming at three? I don't. I never contacted them. We had a a school that coming? contacted yeah. us about some uh, students who were in need. And we were going to sponsor them basically to take this test, but I don't know if they are yeah, uh, Dominion. Dominion. Uh, the school, high school, right? They, they had people with uh, food scholarship mm -hmm. that uh, are interested in the SAT yeah. test. And they're taking the SAT test on March 14th. Yeah. And the teacher contacted us for about 
It's coming to a test, so we are putting it in a free test. And we're going to get it by tomorrow. Oh, okay. The Mr. Student needs. She's going to verify and make sure that they are from the learning Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, we'll, we'll be able to do that and sponsor some of those those kids to be able to take that test. So it definitely is a popular fundraiser, I will tell you that. Um, okay, um, Srini, did you have anything else? That's all. That's all, okay. Um, oh, and t I did wanna say, so we've, Tech Soup, I did wanna let you guys know. So we're trying to get, as a nonprofit, you can have Google um, Suites for free. And so we had to sign up through Tech Suite or Tech Soup. And so we are still, I checked, I signed in a little bit ago, and we're still in limbo about being processed through that, um, just because we're not listed on the IRS yet um, as a um, nonprofit or you know, a 501c3, even though we are legit under the umbrella of the Virginia PTA. So um, we're still waiting on that, but at least we're in progress. We haven't been denied, so. Okay, um, Pramila. Uh, well, I put out the information on um, PT board. Um, we have about 825, I think. 23, yeah. 23. Um, who get the emails, and then um, about 440 plus um, who are on the Facebook group. And then we have a student running the Instagram, about 40, 45 plus students on there, well, parents, students, um, trying to have more kids sign up so they get the information also. Um, any information that's need, that needs to be put out, um, the school sends me some of the stuff like the maker space and the course selection and all of that. I put it out in the parent community. So anything that needs to go out, I'm here to. You do it very well. Okay. Um, Jessica, do you have anything? We do have a lot of um, conversations on our Facebook group. So it's a happening place. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting. Please join us, right? Yes, <laughs> please join us. Um, okay, anything for Pramila? Okay, now. So we have about seventeen thousand four hundred dollars in the bank. Uh, here to date, we've made fifteen thousand, around fifteen thousand dollars, and spent around eight thousand dollars. So we've netted seven thousand dollars approximately. Um, most change from last month is essentially the club grants, and we've spent about $1,800 so far in that. Uh, once we make these changes to the budget, we have $5,000 more dollars to give away by the end of the year, so like through May. So two clubs have applied for the spring grants already, uh, and the due date is March 13th, so please apply, and we have $5,000 which we want to give away before the end of the year. So if you apply by March, then we can approve this and get it out by May. Are you guys sponsors of any of the clubs? Yeah, yeah. but we're, my, my club is Reset, and since it's science-oriented, we already have internal funds that, because it's helping to promote science, and we already have funds for that. Um, Do you have enough money? Yeah. You don't want, like, t-shirts or anything? Or? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Yeah, tattoos, what would you like? Actually, though, t-shirts for the group, because they do go out, and so if, you know, if they could get shirts so that when they go to elementary schools or when kids come that they can wear. You go and get that, take, we'll sign the check. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That would be really cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm, doing, I'm doing the See, national honor society. Yeah. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> oh, it's a benefit from attending the meeting. Going. Actually, we need $250 to pay the dues. Okay. Give us some uh, Yeah, that's the, perfect. The, the club sponsor's been a little busy lately. <laughs> and hasn't really followed up on that. I need to talk to her about it. <laughs> Which on video is <laughs> her. <laughs> you can watch it on video right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the kids, I mean, it, the kids, it's just a small group of kids trying to get it organized right now, so. Okay. Yeah. What club is it? It's the Nat Science National Honor Society. Yeah. Oh, okay. So and um, so and there's like a national thing. So it's so we have to pay dues. Yeah. Like two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, we anyway. will support that. You just gotta fill out the Google form. I know. I know. I know. I <laughs> and ours is not numbers. internal. It's all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. We're happy to do that. You know. So we'll have money. We want. We want to spend this money. We have to spend this money. So. We are hoping 
clubs will step up. So is the form on the website? So the, the, the teachers, teachers have a link to the form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we send it out through, um, we sent it through Curtis Herman. Right. He's yeah, the program Curtis director, Herman's right. He's, and he sent it out. And so then we sent him the link. We sent them, we sent it, all the admin were aware of it. And so it's out to him because we go through him to get it to the clubs. Um, and because that's we're just trying to follow the right policy procedure, and so then we just keep trying to send reminders. And last time and he does, he yeah, he does. Them. Okay, because yeah. we have this money, and so it's a hundred dollars each day. Like if there's an A and a B day, so they get two hundred. And then, um, and so we actually last year, so last fall, we was it nineteen hundred? I think we. So yeah, what nineteen hundred? Yeah. I think. And then this. For the fall, actually, yeah, it's about 1,900, but like 35 clubs applied for it, but only 19 submitted a reimbursement receive. request. Yeah, right. So we could reimburse only around $1,900. Um, not 19, lesser than that, because some clubs, if you're an A day and a B day club, you get $200. If you're A day or B day, you get $100. So it depends. But for your club, it would be 200 because it's. Um, and so we just, and then if we're gonna, we have a timeline on this where it's due and it's the Google form, it's on there March 13th, and then we'll say when it's a couple weeks later is when we're gonna approve it, and then we'll get the money, and if we have money, then we're just gonna go back to those clubs who have already said, asked for money, and we'll see if they want more money. Because, I mean, we're fortunate in this that we have money that we need to, to yeah. give, so. We plan to spend that money, so, and then, like, we don't wanna get audited at the end of the year and say, hey, why do you have so much extra cash in the bank? So we, that's why we're going to ask people, like, do you need anything else? Like, do you need t-shirts? You're just going to come around and yeah. say, what do you want? <laughs> because for, for the graphic, like last year, we gave money for, what was the, there's the big, like with graphic design, a lot of the, yeah, what, what's, what's the name of the contest? There was a, no, not Andrew. I mean, we could do it for that, but there was that. It's based up here in Leesburg, isn't it? There. Skills, Skills USA. Skills yes. USA. Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Last year. Yeah, but Skills USA did too. You know, for that. So, you know, let us know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, we're happy to. You know, like I said, it's just we just need people to kind of fall do the right thing and fill out the form so we have all of that documented and then we will be happy to supply what we need to. So. Okay, do you have anything else now? No. Okay. Thank you. All right, Barry? Okay, um, just a couple of updates. Uh, uh, being part of the PTSA, we get to offer our students their national PTA sponsored event um, and you have seen it, Reflections is one of them. Uh, a couple of others is the power plate and citizenship essay and uh, senior scholarship. Uh, so the update on that is the uh, reflection happened during the fall of last year and we had 12 submissions. Out of those, five of them uh, went to the regional and we had five, five, this, uh, five participants actually moved on to the state. Um, so, um, and we will know uh, in March who will be moved on to nationals. Uh, in March we will find out. Um, then the senior um, scholarship is due in March 2nd. Uh, information about that has been already communicated, but we will send more information. Um, we so far had one student who has applied for the senior scholarship. We need more of the students to participate in that, but we have only one so it's far. It's a $1,000. It's a $1,000 yeah. scholarship. It's to the Virginia PTA. It's not yeah. through us, but yeah. it's, um, and so I've sent a note today to, to Kim Yeager and to Sherry Khan to put that out again for, for next week. Probably I, I think, um, from what I remember from reading, what they, they're looking for, they're looking for um, students who are active in the community through community service, volunteering, you know, those things will get you the scholarship. So, if you have anybody in your research club, or... Did I mention about the leadership uh, students, and maybe that would be yeah. a great way to um, send that information to the students, and the thousand dollar scholarship that would be and it's not a, it's not a long, I just need to sign off on it because they have to be a PTSA member. So, um, but it's not an involved um, it's not form. A form. I mean, I can send it to you. It's on the Hunt District form, but it's on our Facebook page also. But if you, if you just let us know. 
Do, do the teachers receive that information that they can send it out to their students? Yeah, I mean, well, the them? teachers do receive it because we've sent it out Connect Ed. I okay. mean, you know, so any of that, I mean, and uh, Kim Yeager has sent, you know, yeah. so it's okay. all, you know, Ann Sherry has sent it out to when she does her updates. So, you know, we're happy to get it to whoever. Is. But they mentioned the leadership yeah. club or something. I, don't, I know that, I believe it was on, I don't know, I believe it was on the TV screens, um, but. What is it called again? It's the a Virginia. It's a senior yeah. scholarship, a thousand dollars. Yeah. It's for the PTA. Yeah, for the PTA. So they have to be a senior. They yes. Yes, they have to be senior. Mm -hmm. But you were mentioning about the leadership club, I believe, or leadership yeah. student club. I'm sure there are many students who are participating in community service, and they can apply to the uh, scholarship. So the other ones were the power fleet and the citizenship essay. Those were due February 3rd, and we already had one submission for citizenship essay, but power plates, we don't know how many we don't know so yet. far. They're still oh, counting, yes. yeah. Yeah, and do so, you know when the results come out as far as um, anything? Oh. <laughs> so for our for recognition, on our next meeting is on uh, April 16th, so we're going to have a recognition little ceremony for our students who have participated on these. Um, events and especially our reflection students who already made it to the state. So that will be on our next meeting, April 16th. Uh, we're also going to be recognized by the Hunt District PTA on April 29th from 6 to 8 p.m. at Franklin Park Arts. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it for me. Any questions? That's it. Um, so, okay. Thank you very much, Perry. Um, was there anything else? No. Okay. I'm sorry, what? There was nothing else. No, no, no. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, very good. Already covered nomination. Very good. Um, yes, so any new business that people want to bring to the table? Okay, upcoming events. Uh, Spirit Night at Mod Pizza in Ashburn on Tuesday. Uh, we have the practice, uh, actually the SAT, ACT, not both of those on there. Um, February 29th to here, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then, of course, the wonderful Pi Day celebration. And then our next PTSA meeting is in the morning. It's our last morning one on February 13th. No, March 13th. March 13th. March 13th. Oh, I'm sorry, March. See, I'm already wanting to have two meetings. Um, March 13th, it will be um, 10 a.m. And that is all. All right, we're, we're adjourned. Awesome. Thank you very much, Thank everybody. You so much. Thank you, everyone. Did everybody got a chance to sign?